It's Don here from the board. Thanks for coming along and checking out this video. Today I'm going to be having a look at some artisan keycaps just for a change of pace in regards to all of my later videos, late uh, recent videos, sorry, on building macro pads and so on and so forth. Um, but sort of before I kick off on that though, I do want to have another shout out and an update on the hub Kickstarter that's happening right now. Uh, there's about 53 days to go and they're about to hit about 20% of that goal. It's floating around the 91,000 mark out of the 500,000 and I have actually launched uh, an Australian group buy kind of deal happening here where we're actually going in for a 100 set uh, pledge on that. So if the actual Kickstarter is successful, we'll be getting 100 sets. Any leftover sets from this process will actually belong to me uh, and the board podcast as it were which means if I do have excess from the ones that I want to keep they may be potential prizes for me to give away now that said if you are interested in having a new profile some really cool colors for keyways uh, colorways for keycaps then uh, please head over and check that Kickstarter out because every little bit helps every single set that is pledged helps to make this come true for the community. Now, I got a couple of keycaps and as you would know from today's video title, these are keycaps from Coscaps, made by Cosmosis, one of the artisan makers in the community from Australia. And there's a little bit of a backstory here because these keycaps were actually donated to me, to the board podcast, from our longtime listener, fan, supporter, Jolly Green Giant. Now, Jolly Green Giant had actually bought two keycaps as part of Cos's mystery cap sale a while ago and with the intent for them to actually be sent to me. I was actually told by Jolly Green Giant that these keycaps would be coming, but he didn't know what they were because it was a mystery. And Toby had actually also contacted me, Cos, um, had contacted me and said, Hey mate, uh, can you just give me your address again so I can send you some caps? So I gave him my details and then I waited. But then this is where something a little bit strange happened, um, which is the twist in the story, is that Jolly Green Giant got two caps in the mail and he was like, oh no, um, they must have made a mistake because these caps were supposed to go to you, to me, that was. And I said, you know what, don't worry about it. It's not really worth it. You had paid for the caps for the sale and you know, in all honesty, that's where those caps belong. But then, later that same week, I got a package from Coscaps that contained two caps as well. So, I told Jolly Green Giant and said, Hey mate, these have just turned up, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know if these were accidentally sent to me, if he doubled up, and so on and so forth. So, Jolly Green Giant got in contact with uh, Cos, Toby, and said, Hey... It seems like there might have been a mistake. There's a mix-up. You've sent caps to me. You've sent caps to Don. Um, please let me know what's happening if you want me to send them back or pay for them. And, and, you know, we'll go from there. And Toby, being the amazing bloke that he, that he absolutely is, an absolute legend, told Jolly Green Giant, actually, it was deliberate. Because Jolly Green Giant had told him that he bought these caps and he wanted them sent to me for whatever purposes I wanted to do with them at my disposal. So... Toby actually sent him another set. Um, and, and that's absolutely mind-blowing. So I want to say a huge, huge, huge shout-out and thank you to both Jolly Green Giant for actually doing this in the first place and also to Coz and Cozcaps. Um, love you guys heaps because uh, without your generosity, you know, I wouldn't be here with these uh, keycaps to have a look at. So... Without uh, much further ado, let's switch over onto the desktop camera. Um, you will have to excuse the, the, the box here because this is actually um, propping everything up so we can get a better focus and look at it in slight closer detail rather than being right on the desk. So let's just uh, switch over and there we go. So the two keycaps I got in the mail was the Robear in Werebear edition number nine and the uh, Idol Key 2 in Gilded Purity Edition number 2. 
it's pretty cool. Uh, I love the fact that, you know, Coz has got these custom caps that he hand writes what they are, and he even thumbprints. Now, I don't know whose thumbprint that is, but I would be a little bit concerned about using a thumbprint as opposed to a signature. Yes, thumbprints are original, but uh, it might be a bit of a security risk if someone decided to try and potentially frame him for something and, and has a thumbprint available. I don't know, I'm just speculating here. But, so, Idol Key 2 is a... It's a, a revision of the original Idol Key, which was a hand on the keycap. Um, and now it's actually a hand on top of a skull, which is really cool. And the Robert is one of his newer sculpts. So let's have a look at the uh, the Robert first, shall we? I'm just going to slide that gently out of you. And let's go over here. So I love the detail that it goes into all of these high-end artisans. And now I am going to say that this is a high-end artisan because it really is. Um, the sculpt detail, you know, the eyes, they're, they're super smooth, they're clean, they're polished. Um, we've got detail of scars on the face. You know, there's that cut that runs right through the sort of top and bottom of the eye of this Robert. Now, I'm just going to uh, see if I can bring it up and hold it a little bit more steady. Let me take the card away so it won't try and focus on the card and the text. There we go. You know, we've got this little tooth that's sticking out through the lip. Um, and then there's a bit of a color accent on the cheek. The ears are well sculpted. Uh, there's texture within them as well. You know, you've got like a, a ear ring up here, a piercing up here at the top of the actual ear, right? Um, just overall, it's it's absolutely fantastic. Now on the back, you've got sort of a embossed stamp thing with a, a lightning squiggle through it. I don't know if it's shown up very well. Um, all around it, it's it's just continuity all the way you know there's details on every side now if we flip it over to the underside the actual crucifix is pretty clean look at that nice and smooth very solid there's a couple of bubbles there but to be honest you know i would not be concerned whatsoever bubbles will generally happen regardless even though i know that uh cos does use pressure casting for uh for his caps what is interesting in terms of the sculpt though, so I'm just going to show you the orientation, it's just a straight up side flip, is that uh, that wall thickness has a bit of a, an uneven wall thickness to that. Now I'm not too fussed about that. I'm pretty sure that it'll fit on the keyboards perfectly fine and there's not going to be any clearance issues, but it is interesting to see that it is slightly off center. Um, yeah, so so that's, that's the Robert, pretty nifty. It's the first time I've actually seen the Robert in person. It's got a great amount of texture on the face and detail and colorway, it's not too bad. It's very Aussie, green and gold, right? Now, the second one, which is the Idol Key 2, I think is actually absolutely spectacular. Now, gilded purity, I think, of course, is referring to the fact that it's got the metallic gilded color to it. I know that Cos does use metallic powders and pigments in his casts, which give it a great tone to it. The detail. So let's go right up to the camera and try not to obscure my own view here. We've got a ring on the hand. We've got fingernail plateaus. We've got texture. We've got sort of veinage that is happening there. We've got crinkling in the wrists. That skin texture right there. We've even got internal bones. There is both the radius and the ulna inside the wrist. Like that is that is incredible attention to detail. Hmm, the, the box is empty. It's empty, there's no more. Hmm, no more. If you want some more, you have to go and ask mommy, okay? Sorry about that. Um, now, the hand, you know, the, the realism here about the claw and the hand positions, right? You know, it's got that real sense of macabre about it. And uh, yeah, I really like the detail. Now on the back, of course, We've actually got a, a COS stamp there, Maker's Mark, which is fantastic. And then on the front, we've got some skull features. Now, I'm I'm a bit of an anatomist uh, by qualification and trade, and I actually really like this skull. Even though we're missing most of the skull, the skull cap in this portion of the skull is quite detailed. And what I'm talking about here is you've got... I'm just going to try and hold it up again. It's 
killing my shoulders because uh, it burns. Um, now this middle finger is actually also missing a chunk of the finger so you can see the bone that distal phalange is poking out from the joint and you can see that sort of fingernail detail a little bit better there but the skull here actually has the ridges the eyebrow ridges the supraorbital ridges and they're clearly defined which is really fantastic and then when we turn it over to the side we can actually see this flat here and that's actually where your masseter muscle is that connects to your jaw up the top through the through the zygomatic arch which is actually being cut away here so if the skull had gone further down there would actually be an arch that the muscle slides under there so that kind of ridge detail is really really cool the only thing that i guess that i probably would have wanted to see a little bit more detail but that's being covered by the maker's mark is the sort of top of the nuchal ridge which is where the back of the neck muscles connect to and and pull our heads up but hey no complaints whatsoever in that context once again, we flip it over to the underside and uh, we can have a look at the stem. It's very clean. It's very smooth. There's certainly been a lot of work to, to clean that up from the mold, if any. Um, and I don't think there should be any fit issues. Now, this is a bit more to what I would have expected in that the thickness of the wall of the caps on the sides are actually really even and well centered, which is really great. Now, this obviously is uh, a bit more of a, a shine through because it's got a translucent resin to it so you can kind of see there is a bit of lightness to that I don't have a light handy to shine through it but you can definitely see that it's translucent which is pretty cool now I've got uh, a little bit of a, a switch testarunia here uh, it's got some some black and a fosin on it so let's just give that a, a, a slide on it's snug um, giving it the old flick test and the flick test says it's good on the black and it comes off pretty smoothly as well and then for the werebear let's go with the werebear as well and to be expected it holds on just fine so there you go two caps from Coscaps we've got the idle key 2 and the Robear. So, what's going to happen with these? Um, I don't know. A good question. Actually, I do know. <laughs> what, what I did the other day when I was uh, thinking about how to do this video and prepping for this video, I had actually asked, did you want to come up? No? Did you want to come up? Alright. Um, what I did was I asked the guys on our Slack group, what should our next milestone be? And, you know, I said, we're currently at 1600 odd, you know, just past the halfway mark of 1600 subscribers. Should we be doing like, you know, 1700, 1800, 2000? And uh, they said 2000. 2000 is a nice round number. So, because these were sent to me, out of the goodness of Jolly Green Giant's heart and Cos's heart in being so generous in sending two sets out, one to uh, Jolly Green Giant and one to me, I'm actually going to give both of these away. I'm going to run a giveaway. I'm going to run two giveaways when we get to 2,000. So it's going to be a double giveaway for our 2,000 subscriber milestone. Okay? So the giveaways for these will be run when we hit 2,000 subscribers. I already know what I'm going to do in regards to how we're going to launch the, the giveaways for these two caps, okay? But I'm not going to reveal that until we actually get there. So, this is really a preview for that competition. So, if you're interested in, in getting your hands on these, even though I would love to keep these as part of my own yeah, artisan yeah, collection, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just wouldn't feel right in doing so because yeah, yeah, yeah. of the generosity of others. So... Get the word out there, share this video, like this video, tell people who are just getting into mechanical keyboards, put on to whatever, you know, social media you have, because the, the faster we get to that 2,000 subscriber mark, the sooner the competition's going to be for us to give these two amazing artisan keycaps away. You're so talkative, hey? Mm. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, of course, for coming along and checking out this video. I hope you enjoy having a look at these COSCAPs and the amazing quality and detail that goes into it, the color shotting, the crispness of the actual casts, um, and just in general, the, the vibe of the thing. Now, once again, a very quick reminder, if you are interested in supporting the Hub Keycap profile on Kickstarter, please head over and get on it now. There's no reason to wait until the end of the campaign because the more support we have at the start, the better momentum we have to roll it through to get to completion. Um, and of course, if you're not aware and somehow you've actually come across this video because somebody's told you to check it out uh, or it's just randomly come across your YouTube feed, we also have a podcast series on mechanical keyboards and you can find us at www.theboardpodcast.com as well as links to our Patreon and Instagram in the links below for the video. So, thank you once again for checking out the video and, of course, as always, until next time, happy clacking. Bye.